Let me cut to a clip here of this prophet. This was done three months ago. This is going to give chills all over your body. But this prophet had a dream that something was going to happen to Trump. This is done, done again, three months ago. Check out what he has to say about this. Basically, when I was praying a couple weeks ago, he said to me, he said, Brandon, I want you to watch Passover. For when Passover comes, there's going to be an acceleration of things, even more so from what it was from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah. He said, but this will be a time of great acceleration. And he said, you'll see acceleration in the, in the financial realm. And he said, you're going to see uh, acceleration in the politics. And you're going to see acceleration in war. Because the Lord told me, he said, I am not done with America. Amen. He said, there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw, the, I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these, these, they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire. And they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation. And it was coming, it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America, all throughout. And I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. And um, then I saw people interceding when he, and I see him, I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great, uh, the Lord showed me it would go clear into the, the summer. Great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the, um, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff, but there would be a stop to it and their things would start to, to, to break free come toward the fall. And then I saw him winning uh, the election. Say, how'd you feel about that? This is a time where God's attempting to show his face. Are you listening? Are you watching? Are you able to receive? God wants to talk to you right now. The big man upstairs wants to say, hey, listen, I'm speaking if you're listening. Are you listening? As I talked about what might come to Jesus moment happened in my life in 30 years old. I woke up drunk six o'clock in the morning thinking I was at home in bed. You know what I was? I was driving on the opposite side of the road, driving. That was my come to Jesus moment. Maybe God's knocking on your door right now to have a come to Jesus moment. God wants, he wants to have a conversation with you somehow, some way. He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to knock on your door and say, listen, I want to help you build and have a happier and better life. Are you listening, my son and daughter? Are you listening? Are you willing to open a door if you hear the knock? Are you willing to let me in? See, that's what's going on right now because guess what God needs? God needs leaders. And some of you are saying, oh man, you know, <laughs> you don't want me as a leader. I'm this person, I'm this person. I'm brank, I'm, I'm drunk, I'm high, I'm corrupt. Yeah? Well, so are many of the other leaders in the Bible too as well. And God still used them. You ain't gotta be qualified to step up as a leader to be used by God. What do you gotta be? Willing to be used by God. He will qualify you. You don't gotta be qualified for him. But let me not digress. Let me share with you some thoughts I have here about what's going on. The country I love just got attacked. Not the president, not the former president, the country I love. The ideology, this experiment of America just got attacked. And listen, here's what I say about leadership. No leader ever is 100% loved. Nobody ever will vote for is gonna be aligned with you in everything that you feel strongly about. And I'll say this, I don't vote for the person. I don't look at the person. I look for his ideas, leadership, can he get things done? Even though I may not like the style of which he gets it done, but the bottom line, he gets it done. I can rock with that. And hopefully maybe you can too as well.